Good morning, y'all. Thanks so much for clicking in. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm happy to have you. My name is Lori, and on my channel, I like to make videos about real estate investing, the boat life that real estate investing allows us, and organizing, and all other types of home improvement stuff because I live for that stuff. I love it. That's the stuff my life consists of. I love it and I love to share with it. So today we're in my closet. We are in my closet because today I am going to declutter the closet. Now decluttering for me is not something that is a big job that I struggle with, that I procrastinate over um, because I really declutter my closet on an ongoing basis. And what I mean by this is that every day when I'm getting dressed, if I put something on and I think, oh, I don't like the way this looks on me, I don't like the way this feels, it's itchy, anything, it's uncomfortable, anything like that, um, I take it back off and I put it in one of these drawers I have. In these bottom two drawers is anything that I have put on and decided to take right back off for whatever reason. Whether it's uncomfortable, if I didn't like the way it looked or whatever. If I put it on and I thought, no, I don't wanna wear this, I just stuck it in those drawers. And then whenever the drawers get full, I just pull the things out of the drawers and go through them and decide if it's really worth keeping. Chances are, if I've stuck it in a drawer once and it's still in a drawer long enough to the, for the drawer to get full, I'm, I'm not keeping it. I'm absolutely getting rid of that. But even though this is my regular everyday process, I still do go through my closet and look for those things that I haven't pulled for at all. And in this circumstance, what I'm looking for is the things that I haven't pulled to wear and I maybe probably don't even remember the last time I wore them. Ugh, I don't know, but that's what I'm doing today. I am going through the closet and we're gonna declutter all of those things that I don't wear or that I just don't wanna wear anymore. Things that haven't made it to the drawer because I haven't pulled for it at all, but they still need to go. So let's get started. People ask me about these pull down racks all the time. I got them on Amazon. Um, my closet system is the Ikea pack system. It was incredibly cost effective for us to do this. I got quotes to do this closet. I'll show you the befores here. I'll insert the befores here. And I knew this was really the galley style that I wanted with my stuff on one side of the closet and my husband's stuff on the other side of the closet. And so I was really clear on what I wanted and needed from the space. I went out and got quotes to find out what it was gonna cost to do it. And those quotes, were absolutely freaking ridiculous. The quotes were anywhere between $26,000 and $31,000 to build out this closet. And that was not gonna work for us. That's not gonna work for my budget. And so that's not happening, but I still wanted the closet built out. I still wanted the closet of my dreams. So I started looking at other options and the container store option was gonna cost about $5,700, but it had all those tracks that hung on the wall and it was really an open system. And I don't want an open system. I wanted something that looked just a little bit neater that would fully enclose, encase the clothes that I have hanging in the closet. So that wasn't gonna work for me. I started Googling and looking on Pinterest and checking out YouTube and I found that so many people had done amazing things with the IKEA pack system. So I got online with IKEA and they have an online planner tool that you can use to actually plan out your space. And so I started with the space here, I'll insert the pictures here, and we ended up with the space you see today for just under $2,700 and that was something I could actually afford. So that's what we went with. Now these pull down racks were not part of the Ikea system. These pull down racks were actually purchased off of Amazon. And I have two of them here because as you can see, I'm not that tall. I can't reach all my stuff way up there. And you know what else I can't reach? All of this stuff way up here, but I've got another pull down rack. And these pull down racks were really super useful because it allows me to use the space vertically going up that I need to be able to utilize and actually reach. <laughs> so I was really happy about that. Anyway, let's get back to the decluttering. Now, I am not one of those people that says, oh my gosh, if you haven't worn it in a year, it needs to go. For instance, I hadn't worn this in two years but I just recently wore it on a trip to Las Vegas and it might be another two years before I wear it again, but I am keeping it. It is worth taking up space in my closet because I will wear it again. Even though I hadn't worn it in two years, I'm glad I kept it. I enjoy wearing it in Las Vegas once every couple of years and I'm sure something else will come up where I need a rose gold sequin cami. 
Don't know when because I don't really live much of a rose gold sequence cami life, <laughs> but I've got one when I want one. Now this, this I haven't worn in years and I'm not going to, that can go. Oh, I have a lot of tank tops, I know, but I wear a lot of tank tops because it's freaking hot where I live and I spend a lot of time on a boat. All right. That's it for the tank tops. Now let's check out the shorts. I'm not getting rid of any of the shorts. I wear them all, all the time. Where I live, it is summertime most of the time. So shorts are a good reasonable option for our climate at least nine, maybe almost 10 months out of the year. So I'm keeping all the shorts for sure. Ah, all my yoga clothes. I've got a ton of yoga clothes, but I go to yoga classes five days a week and I do yoga even on the two days that I don't go to class. I have a yoga room upstairs, so I do yoga seven days a week. So I need a lot of yoga clothes. And swimwear. I've got a pool in the backyard and we have a boat. So I'm in swimwear all the time for a good solid six months out of the year. So I'm keeping all my swimwear. And then that drawer is empty. Now I don't have very many sweaters. I'll show you. You can see, I really don't have very many sweaters, but sweaters are not something I need a whole lot of. It's just not cold enough for sweaters here very often. It is right now because we're in the middle of the coldest part of the year, it's January. Um, it's January and that's the coldest part of the winter where I live. So I do have sweaters that I will wear for these, you know, six weeks of winter. So I'm gonna keep all these sweaters because I do wear them all the time. Now that brings me to the short sleeve shirts. And this rack I can reach. And I'm just gonna flip through them and see is there anything here that I haven't worn or reached for recently? Or, you know, maybe not recent, oh, this. I love this color and, you know, a year ago I used to wear this all the time. I don't know why I don't wear it anymore, but I don't, so I'm not keeping it. I, only, I do have several hats. And something I really want to do with my style, with my wardrobe, is wear hats more often. I'm getting to be a woman of a particular age, and as everybody has heard all over the world all the time, sun is really, really bad for our skin. So I'm thinking if I wear hats more often, I can kind of protect the skin a little bit more because I am going to be out in the sun all the time. We'll see how that goes. Ah, my jeans drawer. I only have a few pairs of jeans, and I do fold them. They don't need hanging space because I don't wear jeans very often, but I've got them when I do need them. Never wear this, never wearing this. These can go. I like this. Why don't I ever wear it? Hmm. All right. Oh, that one could use some WD-40. All right, well, that's it for the clothes. Let's check out the shoes. Now, to be completely honest, I'm keeping all of these shoes except for one pair of Sorel boots. I have just recently replaced my winter waterproof boots and um, they came in yesterday. I love them, they're super cute. Look at that, they're the light brown and the blush pink, right up my alley. So I'm keeping these and getting rid of these. I wore them a lot when we lived in Missouri because it was freaking cold there. But it's not as cold here, so these will literally last me for years because I just have, don't have to wear them very often. There. I'm gonna put my slippers away while I'm here. All right, that's everything I'm getting rid of. Now, as you can see, I am very fortunate to have a really good size closet. The room is 15 feet this way and eight feet this way. So there's about four and a half feet between the sides of the closet. 
This is my husband's side of the closet and this is mine. And there's about four and a half feet in between. And I do have a full length mirror on both ends of the closet so that you can get a good look of the front of your outfit and the back of your outfit in case you wanna check out your outfit. <laughs> I also have a bench that fits perfectly between our cases so that we have a place to sit down and um, you know put it on our socks all that kind of good stuff so now let's break it down all of my shoes are here in these shelves and they are behind a glass door and i did that specifically so that my shoes don't get dusty i hate dusty shoes and i hate dusting shoes and so the glass door covering the shoes keeping the shoes from getting dusty was so incredibly vitally important for me because if i never dust another shoe in my life i am absolutely totally okay with that now to make best use of the space i did get these little stacker things aren't these great like check that out it's a little plastic, let me just pull one out and show you. It's a little plastic stacker thing that you can stack your shoes up on. And it allows you to put a pair of shoes where before only one shoe would have fit. And anything that allows me better space for more shoes, I love. Plus it just looks nice and neat. So I have my boots up top and these are boots that I don't wear very often. And then of course I have heels, I have flats, I have some more heels. I actually have a pullout tray for these shoes, these are my go-tos. Like if I have to run out of the house and go check the mail or whatever, I'm gonna slip on one of these pairs of shoes. And then of course, more heels and then tall boots. And then down here in this bottom drawer, I've got winter hats. How often do I wear a winter hat? <laughs> Not often at all. But like I said, I wanna start wearing hats more. I think it's cute and I'm, I'm gonna try to work that in. This first case is one of the narrow cases from the PAX system. The next case is also one of the more narrow cases that allow that holds the tank tops. All my tank tops in this pull down rack. And shorts. Now I know a lot of people like to keep their shorts in drawers and that's awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. But I have a lot of these really thin cotton shorts because they're super comfortable, but they also wrinkle really, really easily. So I thought it's just better for me to keep these on hangers. And I love the way this fits. I love the way it all works. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And then I have a narrow case of drawers and that's where I have, you know, under, th under things, athletic socks, boot socks. I don't even know what's in this bottom drawer. Ah, belts. And then we move on to the wider cases. And I mean wider in width, not wider because I'm wider. I'm not that wide, am I? Well, I mean, I'm well wider than I used to be, but, but this video is not about how I'm wider than I used to be. It's about the closet system. So this is just a wider case for more storage. And up top, I keep my purses. I do like to switch my bag out every day. I have one that is kind of my go-to, and that is the fry leather bag that is hanging on the hook there. But I use these all the time as well, and I've decluttered all the bags I have that I just don't use a whole lot. Now, the below the purses is where I have like my staging area. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it my staging area. Here I have all my lotions and daily essentials, perfume stuff you're gonna put on every day before you get dressed. And then in this blue basket, I have my purse dump. Yes, I have a purse dump basket. Now my purse dump basket is just that. It's where I dump out all the things that I keep in my purse because I do change out my bag every day, sometimes more than once a day. I just dump everything back in my basket, but when I put my purse away, and then the next day when I choose a bag, I just dump everything in the basket into the bag and I'm ready to go. And then under my staging area is where I have my accessory drawers and trays. And I love that everything is right here where I need it when I'm getting dressed. And then I've got a mirror right here so that I can actually see what I'm doing and how it's all coming together. Or if it's not coming together and I need to change something because that's really important to know. And then below that, I have my jammy drawer, which nobody needs to see my jammy drawer. I have my yoga drawer. And I have my swimwear drawer. And then I have um, an empty drawer. The next case is also a wide case, and that's where I have my hats, my short sleeve shirts, 
two more hats. Can you see those down there? Ah, oh, hidden, but they fit perfectly. And then I have two drawers of sweaters that really need to be folded better, but I'm a real life person, not Marie Kondo. The clutter bug would be so disappointed if she saw how messy my sweaters are folded, but they're folded and they're in there. And this is real life organization. And as much as I love the clutter bug channel, because I really, I love the clutter bug channel. The only one I love as much as the clutter bug is the home edit. Do you follow the home edit on Instagram? If you're into organizing stuff, you definitely should follow the home edit on Instagram if you don't already, because they are amazing. None of their drawers would look folded like this. But all of my stuff is in a drawer and I'm happy with that. So let's just keep going. So this last case is also a wide case with another pull down rack. This one sounds like it needs some WD-40. Oh, it didn't make the noise this time. Anyway, last time it was really, really loud, made a loud squeak and it sounded like it needs some WD-40. And this is where I keep all my long sleeve shirts, jackets, um, hoodies, all that kind of stuff. And then down below it is where I keep my, is my longer hanging things. I have robes, long skirts, um, pants, and some dresses. Now I also have these pull out closet rods. Like, do I wanna wear this today? For outfit planning or packing or anything like that, these are super, super useful. And we've got two of these. These also came from Amazon, but they mount right into the Ikea pack system. It's almost like they were made for each other. They weren't actually made for each other, but they work so well together, they should have been. And I've got one on both my side and my husband's side of the closet. Now this little area is where I keep clothes that I have worn for a little bit, but that I will wear again. When I put on a pair of leggings and a hoodie to run down the street and pick up the mail, I've worn those clothes. I've worn those clothes, but I've only worn them for a few minutes. So I'm not going to immediately put them into the wash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang them here in this little section, separated by the scarf. And I'm gonna keep them there until I wear them again. Then when I wear them again and I've worn them for a day or whatever, then I'm gonna put them in the dirty clothes and put them out to the laundry. Now that is a really useful space to have in your closet. Most people, myself included for a very long time would just kind of throw those clothes onto a chair in the bedroom or maybe hang them on a hook somewhere but it's messy and i don't want to throw stuff on a chair because let me tell you if i throw it on a chair it's going to stay there and that just didn't work for me so that's why i created the little spot here in the closet to actually hang them up so that like if i know i'm getting ready i'm getting dressed to go to a yoga class and i know i put those yoga pants on for three minutes yesterday to run over and grab the mail those are the yoga pants I'm going to put on today, go to my yoga class, and then after class, they're definitely going in the laundry. Does that make sense? There's not a whole lot of talk about why clothes are dirty or not dirty or whatever. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, what do you do? Are you like a one-time wear? If it's been on my body, it absolutely goes in the dirty clothes? Or are you like, I've heard some people wear their jeans like five, six, seven, eight, ten times before they wash them. That's not for me. I'm somewhere in the middle. If I had it on for a minute, I'll wear it again. But if I've worn it for a day, I'm definitely not wearing it again until after I wash it. That's just me. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what works for you. And then tell me why. Tell me why you do what you do. So curious. Now in this closet, you can see, I keep all my shoes together. So it's very easy to pick a pair of shoes to go with whatever I'm wearing that day. I also keep all my tank tops together and all my shorts together. Because if I'm gonna wear a pair of shorts, I just wanna look through my shorts. I don't want to have to look through my shorts and my jeans and my pants and my skirts to find the pair of shorts that I want to wear. I know I'm wearing shorts, I just want to look through my shorts. And so that's why I separate my clothing by type. Tanks and camis together, shorts together, short sleeves together, long sleeves together, and then skirts in the front, pants, and then after pants are dresses. And that's because I don't want to look through everything to find that one thing that I'm looking for. And so that just works for me. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, it's easy to get organized and it's easy to have this work for you when you've got a closet like this. And you know what? You're right. I am not about to pretend that having a closet like this is not a huge privilege. I really, really enjoy it. We worked for a very long time to get to a point where we were able to build out a closet like this because it has always been a dream of mine. And I am so grateful that it's a dream that finally came true. But I use this same system of separating out my clothes and grouping like items with like items in my boat, on my boat, on my boat. That sounded so weird. 
Okay, so I use this exact same system of grouping my clothing by type, like items with like items, tank tops with tank tops, shorts with shorts, in the little bitty closet that I have on my boat. Now that closet on my boat is only 20 inches wide and I use the exact same system in that little bitty space, just with a smaller amount of things because it does work so well. So if you get nothing else out of this video, take that one with you. Group like items with like items. Just because something came in a set does not mean you have to hang it in your closet as a set. If the two pieces are a set, but you can wear them separately, separate them. In your mind, you know what you bought, you know it's a set. So you know if you pick this pair, this skirt with this shirt that it came with and it's a set, you can always go back to where your shirts are and where your skirt is and pull them together. But don't limit yourself to wearing that skirt and that shirt in only that way. You can also wear them separately and create lots of new outfits without having to buy a lot of extra clothes. And that's what makes it frugal. And that's a great thing. You want everything in your closet to fit you. You want everything in your closet to be comfortable and you wanna love everything in your closet. Now, I haven't got to that point yet. Everything fits. Um, everything's pretty much comfortable. Do I love it all? No, there are some things that I would like to be a little bit different, but I'm in the process of changing it out as I go and I'm going to dress well, feel good about myself in my clothes regardless until I get there because you know, why not? You All right, I gotta come clean with y'all. I decluttered almost everything out of this closet before I started the video because well, seriously, do you wanna watch me go through every single piece of clothing that I have to decide whether I'm keeping it or whether I'm getting rid of it? No, nobody wants to do that, right? Or maybe you wanna do that? I don't know. Um, I didn't feel like I was that interested in getting rid of clothes. So I thought you probably don't wanna see all that, but I do wanna show you everything that I pulled out of my drawers that I talked about and everything that I pulled out of the closet before I started the camera and show you what all I'm really getting rid of. Let's go see it. Boom. All of that came out of my closet. It really feels so great to have such a lighter space. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here in my closet this morning. I hope you've enjoyed decluttering and walking through my closet. I get a lot of questions about why I set it up the way I did and how I maintain it. And so I hope I've answered some of those questions for you this morning. Please do drop down into the comments and let me know what you think. Let me know how do you do things differently? What have I missed that you would do different in this closet? That's what I really wanna know. I'd love to hear all about what you think. So drop down into the comments and let's chat. I could not make this video without telling y'all the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Boy, that sounded dramatic, didn't it? Anyway, bye y'all.